So that roar includes a bunch of different layers, including an oven door opening. I'll do a full breakdown later, but first I want to show you a few other cool things I got to do in this Marvel Snap trailer. So there's this extended technique on piano that I've always wanted to use in a horror context, which is harmonics, just like you would do on a guitar or a stringed instrument. What's really fun though is if rather than uh, touching the string at a simple node like the one half point or two thirds or something like that, you touch it sort of in between these and you bring out a whole bunch of weird overtones. It really emphasizes the bell-like quality of the piano in a creepy, otherworldly way. And I felt like it was perfect for this trailer, so every time it cuts to Thanos, I used that sound. I love doing research on each of the characters that are shown in these trailers, and so this one here, Super Giant, uh, her staff has, like, poison powers, and I wanted to capture this feeling of poisonous. So rather than using a typical swooshing sound for its movement, I used a metal scraping sound. And then for the impact, I did want the feeling of just metal hitting the ground, so I found this little hammer sample. To really reinforce it and make it huge, I added the sound of an artillery shell. And then all three together. All right, now let's look at Cole's roar. So this was really a challenge. I had to break it down into several subgroups of sound. Let's look at those in more detail. The layers I have are shrieks, friction, growl, breath, an extra layer for the inhale, and a tonal layer, which consists solely of brown bear samples. All right, now let's look at each one of those in detail. So the shrieks, barn owl, black kite. And you can see some of these I either trimmed or sometimes I trimmed out the middle. An eagle owl. I love that. It's so much character. And a Eurasian griffin, which has so, it sounds so rough. Like it just makes me feel like I need to cough. In the friction category, I think these are almost all metal. Yeah, so we have a pan lid screeching. Here's metal scraping on dry ice. Very uncomfortable. Here's the oven door creaking. I love this sound. And a time-stretched version of that. The growl layers. I have a Chinook. This is a large beast from my sample collection and a lion. That's especially for that attack on the second half of the roar. The breath layers, I think the fun one here is the uh, small propane torch. <laughs> and for the inhale, I actually used a human inhale here. The tonal layers, so a brown bear sound worked well. The problem is that brown bears, at least the recordings I had, were short sort of grunty yells. So you can see here, I actually had to layer together seven or eight different yells. And I took different ones because I didn't want the effect of looping, but I did want it to be fairly static. So by taking all of these and overlapping them, um, let me play just that by itself. You get some variation, but a fairly constant yell, which I felt like matched the animation. And then I added more layers to that, either pitch shifted or slowed down. That's another one of those weird time stretch ones. All together. Well, let's hear the final roar one more time here. And then in the context of the trailer, it has reverb on it too. The rest of the sound design and music was pretty straightforward, I think. So I'm just gonna cut to the chase and show you guys the finished trailer.
Evelyn. I'll see you next time.